Hi, I'm Sue Thabaraja. I'm one of the nephrologists of Johns Hopkins, and I'm here to present the ABCs of kidney disease. In this section, we're going to review normal kidney functioning and kidney disease. Starting with your kidneys, they're about the size of your fist. They sit in the mid portion of your back and they're under several layers of muscle. They filter the blood several hundred times a day and generate urine. That later gets collected in the bladder. Your kidneys have a lot of different roles. Key roles are managing the amount of water in your body, balancing the different chemicals such as calcium, phosphorus, potassium, and sodium, removing drugs and toxins, by filtering the blood of those waste products. And they release different hormones into the blood that help with blood pressure control, making red blood cells or treating anemia, or making strong bones through vitamin D production. Now kidney disease occurs when the kidneys are no longer effectively able to filter the blood and get rid of waste and water. There are several types of kidney disease. The first one is acute kidney injury, which is a sudden damage to the kidney which results in loss of function. It can be reversible. Now there are several different types of causes. One can be severe blood loss, one can be low blood pressure, um, severe fluid loss, or certain medications. Chronic kidney disease is a more slow loss of kidney function that can happen over a period of months to years. Now the kidneys eventually can stop working with chronic kidney disease and we divide it into five different stages. End-stage kidney disease is when we have total or permanent loss of kidney function. And in those cases, we have to replace that kidney function either with dialysis or transplantation. This presentation is part of the Johns Hopkins Nephrology Patient Education Program with the goal of improving the lives of individuals living with kidney disease. If you want to learn more, we have several websites listed, the American Kidney Fund, the National Kidney Foundation, which all have a significant amount of kidney resources. Thank you.